Welcome to today's episode of values. Values you can use. So the topic we're gonna talk about is joyfulness. Now if the word isn't self-explanatory on its own, the verse we're gonna use is Philippians 4.4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So what is joyfulness? It is being able to say, if Jesus is the Lord and Savior of my life, He's in my heart, then there's no excuse for bad attitude, for grumpiness, for grumbling, you should be joyful. Yeah, I just want to share, you know, this is something our, our kids struggle with. Of course, also us, and we have to model it. But I remember one of our sons, Elijah, our eldest, he has pretty bad eyesight. When we first discovered that his eyesight was really bad, it really broke his heart because he's a reader, he loves to read, and his biggest fear was going blind. And he loved God, he would read his Bible, and yet he discovered that his eyesight was really bad. Right now it's about 450, 475, which is high for a 13-year-old. But his encouragement was remembering that God loves him, God has a plan for him, and when he focused on those things, then he chose to be joyful, chose to be happy despite his, her his circumstances. I think the reality is, despite our circumstances, we can make this choice. And we have a friend, her name is Priya, and I love this illustration because <laughs> she has a bunch of people that work for her. And when they're grumbling with one another, when they're irritated with one another, she says, okay, we're all gonna stand up and we're all gonna jump up and down and say, I'm happy, I'm happy. And she commands them to <laughs> do this. All crazy, and at first right? they're yeah, at first they're awkward, but then as they do it, they start to smile and laugh because they realize when you decide something with your mind, then your emotions follow. And I think it's the same thing mm. for our children as mm. well. So two practical ways of how you can help instill joyfulness in your children. Number one, tell them straight. When you're coming from a long car ride, they're grumpy, they're tired, you look at them and say, hey, is Jesus in your heart? And if they say yes, then you say you need to change your attitude. And you'll see that. You know, the emotions aren't always there necessarily, but they will choose, as Joy said, to be joyful. They will change, do what they're supposed to do. Number two, and very important, across all the values, we must show it ourselves. Are we joyful? We cannot ask our children to do something we do not do ourselves. So those two practical tips on instilling joyfulness, honey, Joyful, yes. my joy, Joyful, I'm full yes. of joy, <laughs> enjoy, God bless.